This is just, this is just basically a, a, a plant you put in the floor, not a plant, a vegetable, and you pull it out. That is just basically farming right there, just for... You also have two birds, they're just birds. I'll give you better, that looks cool. Magic arm is just a fish. Onyx is fine because it's, it's a rock snake. I wouldn't really think of that. So I'll give Onyx a pass. Same for. Yeah, Pikachu's a pass as well. got Need Around and Need Arena, which is just kind of like, um, kind of just like dinosaur dogs. I may have their cool design. Then you have Meowth, which is just basically a breed of cat, and then his, his um, evolution is just another type of breed of cat, really. Coughing, Spine, as well as those, uh, Weezing. Ekans is just a purple snake. And it goes... Arbok? Yeah, Arbok. Oh! It's been a while since I've had a Pidgey. Chaos, get in here so you can get your ass kicked. That's, that's it. That's the attitude to have. Pika! Oh no! I'm getting hurt! monstrosities, too much going on and not enough hearts. What are you talking about? Animated keys is the best type of monster to have. You always have them in your pocket or underneath your doormat or in the plant pot. So th there's always there's always a Pokemon around with you. Sprite looks great. Then again, they have a lot of reference to use for a bird. You like digital monsters more than pocket ones? It tends to be more robotic, and you're a mecha nerd. I prefer digital to Pokemon. Prepare the pitchforks and torches. I also really enjoyed the Monster Rancher game on uh, PlayStation. Though so whatever disc I ever tried, I always got the same, like, I thing from the show. Which was a disappointment. Have I played Cyber Sleuth? No, but I have seen a majority of the second one been played by Mendo. I'm more a fan of the Digimon World games than the story ones. This 
spent plenty of hours in uh, Digimon World Next Order. So I was where Digimon just needs shit all over Pokemon as a game series. It just took to the next level where Pokemon stagnated. I wouldn't say that. Pokemon just evolved by taking ideas from Digimon. Because evolutions are double natural reverence, original. I really hated that they put in mega evolutions and gems and everything. So it's like, this is what Digimon did like 15 years ago. Oh boy, Leah. A skill I might never use. At least this grass is mostly... Well, grass and bug. And the occasional bird for chaos. You just finished Next Door, you're about to hit up the PSP one. I finished, did you do the post-game stuff? Because that is... That is tough if you don't grind. If you want to find out Mireille's backstory, you find her interesting. Doesn't Mireille show up in Cyber Sleuth? I felt kind of the same way, Skeleton. I did some of the post game and unlocked some of the dimensional dungeon. Um, when I got to that point, they just made a jump in the difficulty where I just had to either grind the max stats or spam items. At that point, it was just an item spamming game, and not a Digimon game. I did the post-game second boss in the last area, and that I used all my items in, as well as the cross um, evolution. Favorite part the next order was Mameo was voiced by Kenichi Suzumura. I could you choose Japanese voice actors? So I played in English. You did all Cyber Sleuths post game, and you plan to do the Hacker's Memory post game. Glad you enjoyed it. So when I was watching the second one be played, it looks like you're going to, have to do a lot of grinding for the in-game and to fill out the Digidex, as it were. At least the grinding in that looks as if it were, you, you could kind of zone out to it. It's probably a game I would like, just to put my feet up, hold down A, and talk to people whilst doing so. So that's what I was doing with Mendo when he was, do when he was doing it and I was around. Chinese place had a full English script in it, but locked. Fans scripted it and said it's the game if you have a cracked beta. I played it, uh, the PS4 version, because the PS4 version looks better. And whenever I play PSP or Vita, the way the controller is made, I kind of have cramps in my thumbs, so I prefer to just play PS4 versions. It's also easier to stream the PS4 version. And I'm glad you stuck around for talking, because it's made this so much easier to zone out to, and Riku is evolving. You get another fire attack? No. Your stats increase anyway. You got an extra two attacks. I think he was 28 for evolving. I 
kind of want to get to the point where he can easily one or two shot these with Ember, and then I'll go back to leveling up Bob, because now I can swap from Bob to Riku. I never liked this Charmeleon sprite. It always looked weird and not what Charmeleon looked like. It just looks like a hammer with the, um, the spike at the back to pull nails out. Definitely won't hit them with crit. No, that's, that, that's not what I wanted to say there. You find the vehicle comfortable? Really? Huh. Different people, different hands, I suppose. Six months before the UK craze took off. How did you enjoy seeing creatures evolve? Is the American much different than the EU? You like it, but not as charming alien. What, you, you like the sprite, but not the sprite representing charming alien? Because it, it just, just looks like a red hammer to me. Be like B movie monsters. I can see that appeal. It's like a goofy Barney with a horn. <laughs> eh, kind of. Riku, what is your speed stat? Do you crit in rather often? Beast that is best one. That's probably why he crits often. He's gonna become another George. However, he's only getting plus one to his attack, so he might have best EVs on the side. Or IVs or whatever. I don't know what they're called. I just play the game, I hope I don't die. And when I come across difficulties, I make sure the Pokemon are equal level. I always said Digimon. Again. Alright, I'm gonna have Bob out in front now. Get him some levels. If they're bug, I could use Peck. That is an idea. Start strong, end strong for that middle arc. It's like putting teeth. You talking about Damon Pokemon they give to me? You've been trying to work through Digimon animes, Mazamata. Oh, you talk about Digimon Tamers. Okay. I watched series one, two, three. I think I watched four. But then they stopped airing in the UK. I didn't even watch it anymore. Demi season 3 with Renamon and Gilmore. Very 
Alright, thanks for dropping by, Riku. See you later. We really like savers. They have a hot blooded guy who has a punch he's one to make his Ogmon evolve. Where? <laughs> that sounds strange. But if, um,. Season 3 is with Geomon and Renamon. That's my favourite as well, because it has my favourite Digimon, Beelzebub, in it. your favourite, but dude's just fun. When he uh, just evolves to have gun hands like Baron. Oh, who's to level one? I just love Beelzebub's design and the fact he has a motorcycle. His first mode's pretty cool as well. Beelzebub has a good character arc in 3. Gargamon's top tier too. Not too keen on his high levels, but Gargamon's sweet. Do you mean in Cyber Sleuth? If he's in Cyber Sleuth. Have I seen the female version of Beelzebub? He has a female version? Do you just mean, um... The female demon that's really torn slender. Oh no, I think I've seen the female version. But so somebody else asked me if I like the female version as well, and they sent a picture. I, 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 I have a faint memory of it in my head. Next door you got Terriamon's baby form, was excited when he evolves. Then you got a Gobamon, long dog. Or Gowamon. See, now now we're talking about Digimon, I wanna play Digimon. <laughs> Let us know, it's just gonna be an endless cycle of um, grinding like this is turning into me. I don't like how they've done her clothing though. He did have a lot of the Digimon clothing. Pretty annoys me. It's like, it, it's a female Digimon. Better show it has chest and torso. Or show all the female aspects off because you want to have sex with this thing. Even though it's a monster. And that one in particular is a demon.
Does one return to Digimon as Ross? X Ross, Ross, Wars, through his own quite a bit. He has some slight changes between things. Sister Wars basically dressed like a nun to the point where they censored her in the US version. Censored a nun? I know there are some non sexy Digimon games, but I just hate the ones that are overtly ones. Especially since it's meant to be a children's show. It makes no sense from a design point or, or like, advertisement point besides applying to sweaty teenagers. Pokemon's a good example. It changed the color of her clothes and changed her name. I just want Togemon again. For some reason, I just have the cactus in my head. differences so many times. I don't like it. It doesn't appeal to me. Then again, I don't think they're trying to appeal to me. They're trying to appeal to their own audience. Cactus dude. It's a cactus lady. Unless that's a dude all along and they just changed gender when they digivolved. that Digimon with a female voice was a male all along. Yeah, they do that a lot of the time when they give male characters female voice actors. Their Power Rangers has teenage tier plots and really hot lead actors to appeal to the other well of kids' toys. Eh... 60% of Power Rangers, you know, we see them in their suits anyway. I get where you're coming from. Well, they can't, because they, they don't breed. They just die and transfer their data into eggs. Or if their data absorbed enough. Are they killed? They just become part of me, really. It must be a horrible experience. Grass is easy to be dealt with with both the flying and the fire type and trying to level up. I'm going insane just by doing this on my own. I'm just having to talk about size Pokemon. Yeah, it could be rose, because I think they did they introduced that in season three. Because Red One was doing that. Your Og one already reincarnated his eggs of the, uh, the movie.
fun line dancing and murdering radishes. I'm feeding the local village as chaos dies, as, as per usual. I'm, I'm just kind of zoned out to this grinding as I'm speaking, so. Weird, not consistent, but because there's time travel and dimension hopping, you're right into the universe. Oh, one of the movies. Did it have time travel? I think they just looked into the past, I think they actually traveled through it. But the one with, um... uh. I forgot his name, but the character who popped up just the movie, and his Digimon kept telling him to go back to the beginning. on Kyrie. The guy from the second se second season? Fourth season? Didn't like it. Well this sounds about right. series to continue on the first season as they were in university or whatever. Or high school, whatever the thing is for um Character of the games. His partner was a time traveling Digimon who wanted to become stronger. He went round erasing dimensions for kicks. I decided to go back in time, become Ricky again, and let Ryu train him to become stronger. It's the core character of the series. Sounds good to me. Because she's forced down your throat and everyone loves her, perhaps for no reason. In what? New, new character in what? Yeah, that, that Pidgey definitely had something going for me. Here's his brother. Just want to try the adventure movies. Oh. Oh, they're movies, are they? I thought it was a new series.
best one with Kairi to the point where she can DNA to evolve with Archie Woman. Start the apocalypse. Starting that off pretty high level, aren't they? Looks like Evangelion. I was about to make a joke, but the joke I was going to make was Code Geass, not Evangelion. So deep. It gets better. I feel the start step to that's kind of slow. They showed the compilation movie in the cinema here. Soft, you attempt to go. Compilation movie for what? Yes. Is that flying? I didn't know there were any movies for Code Gears. Few attacks and all. Okay. Could potentially be better, but if I get some good amount of hits off. And if you find something that isn't big to fly. What's the damage of heck anyway? I mean, like 15 or something. Take a dance, a 50 episode series into three movies quite often in that genre. I mean, I can see that. say fix me plot holes, I've seen so many movies that create more plot holes. Not for Mecha, because I stay away from Mecha anime, but... You happy for me bring you into the, uh, PC? I think he's happiest. I don't know if jumping means happiest. I thought my Pikachu would be the Finn version by now for this walking in circles. <laughs> is normal. Have I tried the Shin Megami Tensei series? Yes, I have. I played Shin Megami Tensei... Is it free? Uh, Nocturne. Um, I've also played both the Digital Devil Sagas. I've done Straight Journey. I played both Devil Summoner games. No, I played one Devil Summoner. I've done both Devil Survivor games. I've played. Go on, play this. Um. If Nocturne is free, featuring Dante from Devil May Cry! Yeah, definitely. Played that one. With, with that with that cover art as well. I'm blanking on the name. I played 
the first Persona game, but I didn't really... I got halfway and got disinterested, so I haven't done 2 or 2.1. Say 2.1, the sequel. Um, I played Persona 3, 4 and 5, though after 2, I just stopped being Shin Megami like, Tensai at that point. Um... Oh, Chaos, what are you learning? Slam. Is slam normal? I think slam's just normal, isn't it? Uh, that's a case of what I want to change. I don't think I've ever used double team with the defense I've got right now. So if I'm using double team, I'm probably... If I get hit, I'm dying. So... Speed's pretty high on... Chaos, so I don't think Quick Attack's gonna help me much. So I could swap out Quick Attack for Slam. So unless they're using Quick Attack, or as a fast Pokemon, I should always be going first, which I have been doing. Being the same thing, Skeleton. If I'm using it. It's only just because I don't want electricity. Boy, probably always going to go first anyway. Come on and slam. Welcome to the jam. You didn't like Persona? Destroy the fan base and quickly change the style of the main series. I decide why it's popular, but it changed what? Enjoyed. I would say it's changed the main series. I mean, when it hit to free, they pretty much stuck with the um, social sim. But you still have plenty of other Shimagama Tensai games which are hard ones and don't feature any like social interaction besides go here, yes sir. Because you got Strange Journey that came out, and that was still really difficult. Twice Chaos has almost died. <laughs> the original weird doll style of art was dropped from more anime style. Yeah, I can see that. I, I kind of prefer Zona 3, 4, and 5. Though I, I like the customization and social interactions you have, as well as the character stats. I just like that genre better. Still do enjoy going back to the difficult ones. I wish they bring out a new Shin Megami Tensei that isn't handheld. Because the last one they did was four, five, and that was only on um, PS Vita, wasn't it? And yeah, I know Strange Journey got a HD remake, so I keep seeing that everywhere. But I don't have 3DS. That's just for Apocalypse. Yeah, I think that's it. That's the guy with the, the person with the shaved side of their head, so they look very young, isn't it? So that looks interesting, but it's only only on 3DS, that could be why I'd never be able to play it, because I don't have a 3DS. It's very bad balance-wise, in what way? Normally, you just have to go for Elemental weak system strengths nullify anything that's killing you. Which can be hard when they don't give you those demons to capture or negotiate with. 
first 10 games, get ambush, it's game over, enemies are very strong. I see that about a lot of our games. Especially in Nocturne. Jeez, about times I just died randomly to things in that. I always felt like the SMT were games you had to either grind in or be very cautious. Even if you did grind, you still get your ass handed to you if somebody came up with Mega Dope and you're like, I didn't prepare for this, everyone's dead. Can't wipe any team in one turn, it's almost game over. I can see how that's bad balance. Yeah, I played, I played both Digital Devil Saga, but 1 and 2 of the Reverse Saga games, besides Digital Devil. There's so many SMT games, I can't remember all the names. Actually, mean Saga, not not SMT. Um, as far as I remember, I've not played any of the Saga games. No. I, I know what they are because one of my friends is thinking about starting one of them. Sniper. He was here earlier, but he's, he's gone now. You probably talked to him about the Saga games because he has one on his list. RPGs with lots of single stories. What do you mean by single stories? Like each game is self contained, or in the game itself, there are separate single stories in the game? I'm gonna get Bob 17 on that TD1. So you have eight characters in the game, each have their own storyline and adventure path. Okay. So kind of like King of Hearts, Birth by Sleep. Like you select one character, play through to the end, and then you select the second character, play through to the end. Seventeen. Someone else need loading up. Trap could do some level ups. Uh, the only has grass. Grass we're good against. Ground and rock and water. There's not really anything like that near me, so. around his poison, so that doesn't help. If I could go back into the cave, I can sometimes fight Geodudes and uh, Sandshrews. They're, they're ground. I think now I just need to have Chaos in the front to try and get XP on him. An opportunity for the tra trainers up north. After I heal. Bob. I need to have my flying attack. Hmm? 
I just noticed that the lines on Pikachu's back line up with the lines on the table, and he sits on it. Look, look at his back. The lines on his back match up with the lines on the table. Is that intentional? They're all the same colour. Fair enough. Sure, I'll try and get that guy out of that area so I can go in there. You're a cool guy. Got a girlfriend. Oh, she ran the corner. She says she wasn't you weren't a very good fighter. And Slam's cool. We're electricity, so this is stay in. Another crit. So I don't really matter about interesting, so just do it. So close. Seismic Toss. Pretty sure George can learn it. Gaps can learn it as well. And Riku. I won't use it. Oh yeah, I have that nugget I should sell. So. I knew I had to fight you. Did your aura tell you that? So I could bring out um, trap and trap is bug, so it's ground attacks. We're doing half. She wants to get trap some XP. Oh god, that sprite! It looks sick. We need to treat that. Don't like these crits. That was a crit. Um, I was supposed to say that was 19. So that'd be like 9. Yeah, it should, should be fine. It's crits again. There we go. Has a mouth on the back of its head. Looks more like a plug hole for the uh, thing to put you into the matrix. You knew you'd lose, so you knew you had to fight me. Be the final, final one. I 
I've forgotten how many trainer battles there are in this game. So that's what? 13 or something on this round? Not effective, so I'll just use normal slam. Slam is powerful, jeez. A low to uh, hit chance or something. I'm thinking Slam has a lower hit chance. Every time it misses, it's just getting lower chance in my head. Finally. Wasn't it? Shot. Can't do of you, I'm just gonna send out Riku. The Oddish looks so happy to see us as well. So jealous, are you sure? I'm like a fairy, I don't have one sadly. Isn't it? Is this your house? Um can't remember what happens here, so I'm gonna go back to town and rest and that'll be it for this session. So I've been going for how long my save says pick seven hours. Thankfully, in the first session, no deaths. Had two very close encounters with death, but thankfully, we saw it through. Um, we mostly set it for the next gym, so thank hopefully, we can go through that easy enough. Um, it might be some time to play this again, because next week I should be doing Stardew Valley with Sniper. So, I might do some less on Sunday to make up for that. Besides that, I should be doing some more D&D on Saturday and Starfire on Sunday. So I hope to see you all then. And I thank everybody for joining today. Especially God Level, uh, Skeleton, and a few others. You can get advice and talk to me as I grind. <laughs> So I didn't go crazy doing so. And Skeleton, if you want to talk some more about games or suggest other games for me to play later on, you can always join the Discord. So I shall thank you all again, and if I don't see you on Saturday, I shall see you all next time.